I'm sorry. I have one more from Top Buzz. And you know how the other one I just said is some things just disgust me. This is just as bad and brutally disgusting. Here's your title. I'm sure you can't read it, but I'll read it for you. Black college students were handcuffed because white customers complained of being uncomfortable around them. What in the fuck is the world coming to when you can be handcuffed because people aren't feeling comfortable around... Well, hell, I don't feel comfortable around a lot of people, but I don't think they should be handcuffed. And that because I know how to fight anyway, but, you know, let's read into this. With the nation's capital witnessing a huge unsage of racial profiling phone apps and such as Skitcher, Sketch, Sketch Factor. Sorry, I'm kind of still in shock from reading the title. Particip participating in online platforms like Operation Group Me, it comes as no surprise that innocent... I don't know how to say this. I guess it's melanoid citizens? M-E-L-A-N-O-I-D citizens in D.C. on the subject of harassment and danger by members of the dominant society. Earlier this week, 18-year-old Jason... Good God, where did they get these last names? G-O-O-L-S-B-Y Goosby. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. I'm sorry, Jason. And his friend, both students of Harvard University, were hanging out near an ATM when police approached them under the guise G-O-O-L... S-B-Y and his friend have met the description of being like that wasn't going to happen. They have met the description of being suspicious. According to the cops, the suspicious person in question had allegedly been seen in the same area by bank customers who complained of being uncomfortable with possible intent of on robbing people. Metro Police in D.C., resorted to reading the individuals they were approached by cops and one ran away which resulted in the chase <laughs> here's where the report reads individual <laughs> individual individual resisted and was handcuffed while resisting after he refused to stop the report started the person making the video oh there's a video was interfering with the police and also detained while the incident were being investigated. I'm going to call this kid G-Man, but for the record, um, G-O-O-L-S-B-Y, whose Twitter account is at D-A-R-E-A-L-B-I-G-H-O-M-M, oh shit, excuse me, M-I-E, so that's Big Hom Dear Big Homie. Or the real big homie, I don't do ebonics. The real big homie tweeting the following video that recorded the police harassment. Today we heard were harassed and assaulted because someone felt uncomfortable around us in a bank. Retweet. Okay, so I'm skipping whatever the hell that is about justice for Jason. I this happened a couple of months back in October twenty well whenever. Anyway. I don't know why it took so long for it to get here, because this date has October 2015, so they're a little behind the eight ball here. After seeing the incident unfold, it becomes much clearer as why these phone apps are extremely popular among white supremacists in the D.C. area. One way, we, um, M-E-A-L-N-O-I-D people can counter this harassment for us is to also download these apps and report suspicious or potentially threatening behavior coming up from suspicions, predators, and dominant society. Okay, well if there's a video it ain't here. But there's your picture. So I understand what in the blue hell is going on, but apparently some people were very uncomfortable with these kids that were of color hanging around. 
Now again, I got this from Todd Buzz, and I'm behind the eight ball because clearly they're behind the eight ball. But you're usually pretty close to right, and I'm sitting and I'm thinking, how does this happen? Now I say this because I was accused of being a serial rapist of Charlottesville, Virginia, in my twenties. Yet the rapists have been raping people since I was three. So apparently, my dick was working while I was um, fresh out of diapers, and I was going around raping people. Since I was three and I was 260 um, something pounds, something my body will never see. I'd be lucky if I can get back up to 145, which I've only been 135. But still, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm like, how the hell does this happen? And, you know, um, we all need to take a step back, take a knee, and figure out how to put it into this shit. I'm James Weemstreet. This is Comfort Habit number two. Be seeing you.